I'm going to show you how to do a basic sink clearing if you have an issue. Let's say you turn on the water and the sink immediately backs up and it's just not operating like it normally does. You turn off the water and you kind of have that puddle that stays around. You know, it should drain in a swirling fashion and it should drain relatively fast. Now this house, since it's maintained by us, doesn't have a drain clog, so I had to manufacture one. This is a basic tool you can get at a hardware store. It's called a zip it. This only works if it's something that you can get within about 16 to 18 inches of where your faucet is at. What you do is you buy this little guy right here, and if you do not have the kind of pop-up that you can take out easily, then what you do is you kind of slide it in here on the sides and you go down a couple of inches, kind of just work it a little bit and pull back a little bit, see if you get anything. See right there, I'm already pulling back my quote unquote hair. Going to go on the other side now, pull back a little bit, pull back a little more hair. So I'm going to keep doing that until I get as much as I feel I've got. And if you get the right spot, you can even go down all the way. But you got to be careful because there are plumbing components down inside this uh, pop-up assembly. So you just kind of got to wiggle and be a little careful. And now we'll go ahead and run this and see how it functions. Let's put this to the side. Turn it off. You see that drains immediately like it does. Before you had that kind of puddle up, immediate. Now it drains right away. That's the big difference. So it's about a $6 tool that'll save you a lot of money. That's a quick and easy way to take care of sinks and you can even sometimes apply it for showers and bathtubs if you're careful. Um, if you have any questions, or that does not get it, then give us a call.